All right, just an update here. Uh, this here, I decided to go ahead and, and actually pour some epoxy um, on top of all this. And what I'm going to do is take some tape and create a reservoir all the way around this and then pour some epoxy in on it, um, which is an epoxy paint, but if it's thick enough, it, it dries as hard as plastic. Um, because I just I want this to be pretty strong up here. I know it's only temporary, but I just want it to hold together um, through my testing and all that good stuff. And then when I'm ready to use this tube that I created on my new bubbler, I'll just grind all that stuff off and it'll be fine. But uh, but there, there, just an update. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start wrapping this around here and kind of show you how I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm just using this uh, medical tape here. The only reason I'm using it is because I can't find my electrical tape. And it'll serve the purpose just fine. All I'm wanting to do is just create a, a reservoir so I can pour that epoxy in on top of this lid. Like I said, just to, just to create some strength. I'm going to double up on this a couple times. I think this dust got holes in it. It might not do good at all, but we'll, if I can find the electrical tape. I think this will be fine though. We'll find out here in a minute. Alright, so like I said, all I'm doing is using this as um, a reservoir to pour that epoxy in just to create a nice little um, nice little hard piece of plastic up here to hold this all together. Because this lid's not really, I was thinking about tacking it on there with a welder, but that lid is just so thin and I can't find anything else that's going to seal on this jar for me. So I, I believe this will work fine. So there you go. Uh, next video, I'll show you uh, me mixing up that epoxy and uh, pouring oh, it in there. Oh, everyone, back again. Sorry about that. My uh, my battery died on me. But uh, back to this epoxy. Got this epoxy all mixed up. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not. It's uh, all mixed up and ready to go into that form. So let's pour it on in there. I did add some black tape um, to the outside of that tape I'd already put on there because I did find my black tape. And hopefully we can do this without making a mess. Alright, just pour it in there nice and evenly. And like I said before, um, when I get ready to use this on my, my more permanent bubbler, then uh, all this stuff will just grind right off. So it's, uh, it's fine. And I am going to put it up the sides just a little bit, just give it some more strength. Like I said, the only reason I'm doing this is just to, to hold this stuff a little bit more secure on this lid. Um, because the lid's you know, so thin. So it's not a, it's not a permanent job, just a, kind of a, a quick job just so we can experiment with this bubbler. And see which direction that we're going to have to go with it. All right, I think that's it. I think we got it. I think we're good to go. All right, that's it for this video. We'll uh, see you on the next one. Hello, everyone. Back again. Uh, I started tearing this thing apart before I realized that I wasn't videotaping. So, <laughs> but, uh, Anyhow, I just wanted to show you this stage of me taking this thing apart um, to, you know, just make sure it's all right. I like taking it apart just as it's kind of a, let me kind of show you here, kind of like a like a bubble gum almost. And I kind of broke my rule. What I like to do is, is take a, a little bit of uh, baby powder and put on it to actually make it to where you can actually touch it without it sticking to you. I don't know if that's a proper way of doing it or not, but it's just something I like to do. 
and doesn't mess this glove up so let me change these this glove real quick <clears throat> all right so I just like putting a little bit of baby powder on it I, like I said I don't know if this is a proper way of doing this or not but I like doing it because at this stage I'm able to manipulate uh, some of the epoxy without destroying you know the uh, the shape that I created whenever I poured it into a mold or whatever I'm doing with it at the time but uh, there you go it looks like it's a pretty good shape kind of allows well it looks like a little bit of tape is left on it there might not be able to get that off but it's not all that pretty um, yeah, the tape, that uh, medical tape, had a lot of holes in it, and the epoxy went right through it. So we're just, what I'll probably do is just wait for that to completely dry, and then uh, just grind it up a little bit and make it look pretty. But but there you go. Um, like I said, I just put that on there just to uh, hold these pieces, you know, good and solid for when it's, um, you know, going back into the jar. Uh, I was thinking about epoxy in the bottom side of it, but now that I did all this, I might not. It's possible. We'll have to see. I might end up doing something a little bit different on here and clean this up um, to make it look a little bit better. But, uh, but there you go. Just wanted to show you that. Hope that made some kind of sense. Uh, see you next time.